this is another wonderful day. Jehovah Jireh, the King of glory, has given to you and I. So, beloved, we owe him a prayer and thanks. So, without wasting time, let us pray. Immortal, the Lord of our host, our shepherd, our king, our glory. We thank you for another day like this. That is the 3rd December, 2021. You are so good. You are so marvelous. You are so wonderful. We thank you and thank you and thank you for giving us another day that it is by your mercy that you have done this. May your name be praised. May your name be adored. Hallelujah. To you, almighty Jehovah, we thank you, miracle working God. It is by your power, by your might, by your authority, for giving us a day like this. It is you alone that we have to thank. It is you alone that we have to pray. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior, we thank you. Holy Spirit, I am just an empty vessel. May you use me this morning to bring your word forth. Only you alone is the greatest teacher. I thank you for another day for using me. May your name be praised. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Son. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus Christ, your mighty name, I have prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. Beloved, I greet the viewers of Prophet Kenneth for availing yourself to listen to the end time prophets. May your heart desire be met by the almighty Jehovah. Jesus Christ, whatever you ask him, he will do it for you. May you all be blessed, amen. Beloved, the title of the message is Fear God, Fear God, without wasting time, is Psalm 112. Let us hear the message from one going. Bless the Lord. Bless is the man who fear the Lord, who delights greatly in his commandments. Two, his descendant will be mightily on earth. The generation of upright will be blessed. Beloved, when you fear the Lord, it isn't you alone, you and your descendant from your generation to generation. He has done it before. He started with Abraham. He blessed Abraham and his son, Isaac. He was blessed. And his son, Jacob, he was also blessed. So beloved, descendants, God will bless our descendants, our generation. We continue. Three, wealth and riches will be in their house and his righteousness endure forever. Beloved, when we talk about rich, rich, riches of God, the riches, I'm sorry, of God, it is only God who give good things and every good thing is from above. So without Christ, how are you going to be blessed in the spirit and in the truth? 
it is only Christ who has the riches. And the riches of God is being in Christ, that you abide in him. It's not earthly riches. He is talking about spiritual riches. So beloved, let it be aware. We continue. Unto the upright, that verse four, there arrives a light in darkness. Beloved, darkness, we all know, when you enter a room that is dark, you need the light to see. And the light is only Christ. So beloved, if you are in darkness, that means you are abound. If you are in darkness, you can see far. If you are in darkness, you will be tormented. So beloved, we all, including you and I, we need the light. And the light is our Lord Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit, our teacher, our comforter, our guide, and a friend. He is the true light that abides in us. So this morning, do you have the light? Do you have Christ in you? We all need the light. We all need Christ. We all need the Holy Spirit to teach us the word of God. Hallelujah. That's why there is a song that goes, it's a miracle working God. It is a miracle working God. He is the Alpha and Omega. It's a miracle working God. We need a miracle working God, the owner of life. He alone is worthy to be praised and to be worshipped. Let us continue. Unto the upright uh, arise light in darkness. He is gracious and full of compassion and righteous. Our God is so good. He is a compassionate God. That's why we need to abide. We need to depend. We need our Lord Jesus Christ. So beloved, he is a compassionate God. Let us continue, verse five. A good man deal graciously and leads. He will guide his affair with the section. Says, surely he will never be shaken. The righteous will be everlasting remembrance. Seven, he will not be afraid of the evil tidings. Beloved, when you abide in him, fully depend upon him, know him. The Holy Spirit in you, the Holy Spirit in me, is in us. He is our teacher, our comforter, our guide. Greater you see that is in us. So beloved, when we abide in the Lord, we fear not. The devil, he come to steal, to destroy and to kill. It is only Christ who comes that we will have life in abundance. So beloved, let us depend upon him, the owner of life. We continue trusting in the Lord. If you depend upon him, you will trust him. You will not be afraid of the witches and the wizard. So beloved, let us depend upon our Lord, our savior, our king, the miracle working God. 
We continue, verse eight. His heart is established. He will not be afraid until he see the desire upon his enemy. Beloved, if you depend upon him, God, the almighty Jehovah, will let you see your enemies. When you depend upon him, you'll be established in him. When you depend upon him, you will never be afraid of the witches and the wizard because greater is he, which is the Holy Spirit in you. And you will see your enemies, their desire, your desire, not their desire. They will know that God, your almighty God, you walk with him. So beloved, this morning, are we depending upon him? Do we fellowship with him? The year is getting to the end. Where do you stand? This is the moment that if you don't know him, he is telling you this morning, come, he will receive you. So this morning, those who don't know Christ, this is the moment, this is the hour. Tomorrow, it will be too late. So beloved, let us know our savior and do his commandment because he is telling us that we have to depend upon him. David has given us the word. David did it. What about you and I? It is time for you and I to do it. We give him all his glory so that he will bless us. And we will not be afraid of the witches and the wizard. He is almighty Jehovah. Spirit of the living God, we thank you for giving us the utterance to know your word and to pray. It is you alone that can guide us. Thank you, covenanted God. Thank you, our Father, our loving Father, Abba. Thank you, Holy Spirit, our comforter, for guiding us. We give God the glory and honor. We thank you for a moment like this that we are still breathing. Holy Spirit, I take this opportunity to bless your end-time prophet, Prophet Kenewu, the wife, the children, and also his viewers that listen to him. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Holy Spirit, for giving us the word. Thank you. It is you alone that has done it. May your name be praised. In Jesus Christ, your mighty name, your, your word has come forth. Amen and amen.